school. Uh, we'll take in-person questions first, uh, right after an opening statement from Coach Avem. Go ahead. I'm just really proud of the players. Not only this week, this week at the ACC tournament, playing that Tuesday, Wednesday game was really, really tough. I thought Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Um, and, uh, but, uh, so really proud how they played this week. Really proud how they played today. That's a really good pit team. They're well coached. Mike Bell is one of the great minds in college baseball. And that's a veteran team that plays with a lot of heart and a lot of grit. And uh, just, uh, you know, the five runs we got in the first with some good, good at bats, good approaches at the plate. And then Kano really set the tone by, uh, you know, keeping them scoreless there. Um, had the one hiccup that third inning, I think. And, uh, but Kanan set a big time tone, and he's been so big for us all year in so many roles. And questions? We'll pass the mic around. Hi, uh, Coach. This one's for you and for Tommy as well. Just what it means to, to both of you for Tommy to have broken the, the NCAA freshman home run ne- record now at this point. Well, it probably means more to me than it does to Tommy right now, and then years down the road, it's going to mean a lot to him. And uh, it's, it's nice to have your name beside something. And he just wants to play and win games right now, and that's what he's all about. So he can't even probably soak that in. But that's a record. I mean, I've been around a long time. And that's a record that I thought would never be broken in this era with the change in the bats and stuff like that. So uh, I just uh, – it's amazing to me. He's been amazing, not, not just as a player, but as a person, character, teammate, what he means to his teammates. So – uh, it's special, probably more special for me than Tommy right now, and one day he'll understand how special it is. Yeah, what he said, um, you know, I haven't really processed it yet. I think, I think it's cool. Um, I'm just looking for a championship game. I want to win a championship. And I'm just going to help the team win. Yeah. Can kind of follow up on what Tommy just said. I mean, have a chance to win a championship tomorrow. We know your fan base is, is pretty hungry for that. How much do you want this thing tomorrow? Yeah, I mean, a championship going back to NC State would be huge. Um, you know, we fell a little bit short last year, and just to do it for last year's team, this year's team, and all of Wolfpack, Wolfpack Nation, that would be huge. And, uh, you know, it's going against Carolina. Uh, that maybe, maybe makes it even a little bit sweeter if we win that game. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to go out, play hard, play the ball that we know that we can, um, and just see see how the cards fall. So that's our plan. I just for you, the player, how, how big was it when you guys came out of the dugout to start the game and you look around and you see all the red in the stands? Did, did it feel like a home game? Did it feel like uh, the Dale, Dale feel in Charlotte because there's so many red out there? Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> the Wolfpack Nation follows us wherever we go. Um, they're They're great. I think they're one of the best fan bases in the league. I mean, you couldn't ask for any more. I don't know how many we had, but it was a lot. And it definitely felt like a home game out there playing uh, just at a different field. So uh, we appreciate all that they do, and it's great to play in front of them. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot easier um, playing when people are cheering for you than yelling at you because uh, you're traveling around. We, we've, we've gotten some yelled at a lot. Um, but, uh, yeah, playing in front of our fans, I mean, you can just thrive out there. You don't have to worry about, like, people in your head or anything. It's good. And, Coach, obviously, uh, this game is going to be big anyways, regardless of it being the ACC championship game. But knowing it's against Carolina, does that change anything? I don't think so. I mean, it probably changes for the for the fans. And uh, I think Justin told me there's, like, 8,500 people here tonight. That's incredible. Uh, and uh, he said it holds 10-5, so I'm sure it'll be 10-6 here tomorrow. And for the ACC and for this great venue and for the city of Charlotte, it'll be awesome. But uh, like Tommy said, we want to win a championship. Like Kanan said, we fell short last year. And uh, I uh, I think this is – Lizzie probably knows. I, I don't, but I, uh, at times I felt like uh, – Who's the guy with the Buffalo Bills who played in those Super Bowls and couldn't win one? Marv Levy. I felt like Marv Levy at times. I think it's going to be the 6AC championship <laughs> that we played in since I've been here. And uh, But uh, this is an unbelievably good league. And to get to the championship game that many times 
and uh, to, do, to get to this game tomorrow after last year with an entirely new team, pretty much, is a great tribute to these players, which is from the coaching staff and all the staff, we're just so proud of. You do have some players that are coming back from last year. Can you can you use them to sort of draw upon in terms of the experience of playing on a Sunday, uh, like as you did last year, to help you tomorrow? Well, I mean, our players, you got to give credit to the guys that have returned. You know, Kanan, David Harrison, obviously JT and Devontae, Noah Souls, D. Childs. There's been a lot of guys. You know, Matt Willits and Sam Highfield, even though he's not on the field, and uh, but our our new guys have drawn from them all year. So that's why we're in the championship game because our leadership on the field and in the locker room has been so incredible. And the uh, the way our new guys have approached that and leaned on that and learned from that because they know they'll be leading this team for the next couple of years. And it's just, it's just as a coach, it's fun to watch. Tommy, I noticed uh, when the relief pitcher came in and Groover struck out, he went and spoke to you and Hood. To have Brown and Groover ahead of you in the lineup, everybody's talking about your home runs and all, but to be able to bat behind those guys and see what they've done. They're not the conventional one, too. They, they can hit the ball out of the park as well. How has that helped you, and what is that like watching them from the on-deck circle? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're very good. Um, being able to see them, like, I mean, they always get on base. So it sets up most of my RBIs to those, those two guys. I mean, they just find a way on most of the time. Um, and uh, I mean, seeing how they go about their approach, I mean, all of our approaches, one through four, are really the same. I mean, some people change some stuff up with the pitchers when they pitch. But um, I mean, seeing what the, how the pitcher pitches them, I kind of get a better idea of what I'm going to see in the box. Yeah, you obviously have one more game, but this simulates a regional or a super regional. How encouraged are you by the way NC State's played in regards to the NCAA tournament? Does this look like a team you think that can really compete at that in those venues? Oh, there's no question. I mean, the ACC is obviously one of the top team, uh, leagues in the country every year. And this year it just seems to be better than it's ever been from top to bottom. So many teams. I mean, we could send 11 teams to the NCAA tournament easily. And that's never happened in the ACC, but it certainly has a chance. And so, but uh, I've said this so many times, since the doubleheader at Florida State, that was fairly early. We played 26 innings on Sunday at Florida State. Since this, this team has grown tremendously, gotten better, there's been ups and downs, there always is in this game. This game is extremely tough to play. And uh, it takes great physical talent, but a great, it takes a great emotional stability to be able to withstand some of the things this game will give you. And uh, so this team obviously is a team that can win a regional, win a super regional and go back to Omaha. But that, with that said, so is everybody probably is going to get in that, get their name called on Monday. But I know this team, the way they've grown, this is a team that will be ready for regional. And Tommy, kind of a similar question for you. Obviously, this team didn't have the offense this past weekend against Wake Forest. You've now been able to move on over the last three games with the offense finding itself again. How confident do you feel in, in this offense up and down the lineup going into tomorrow and then going into the regionals as well? Uh, yeah, like I said, after the Miami game, I think uh, on the field, I mean, we get hot at the right times. So when we need to get hot, we get hot. And um, I mean, when it's time to go, uh, we're not going to shy down from the best pitchers or anything. I mean, yeah, hitting is, is crazy. I mean, Wake Forest was a crazy event where, like, the whole lineup didn't hit. I mean, that's it's pretty rare for our lineup for everybody to, to not be hitting. So, I mean, once playoffs hit, everybody knows their their bats got to be better. Um, and it's just got to kick it up a notch, and I think we've shown that we, we can do that. One more. Yeah. Yeah, Elliot, just your assessment of tomorrow's opponent, North Carolina. What are your thoughts on them? And right now they're really hot. You'd have to say they're one of the hottest teams in the country. Playing with a lot of confidence, a lot of emotion, the way you, the way it comes when you're playing that well for for a period of time, and it uh, it's going to be a great game. But uh, uh, we're looking forward to it, and uh, we'll have to play really good tomorrow. Okay, guys, thank you for the time.